What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off, round off what happened last time, um, our attack against the French went staggeringly well and we are going to attack one of the few remaining forces they've got on the continent. So without further ado, let us attack. As you see, we have our first artillery regiment. Let's take them out. So this army, I want to eventually go take... well... This army, I want to stay near Montreal and Quebec in case the 13 colonies declare on me. I want to raise a second force to go and capture Rupert's land to remove the British threat behind our lines. Those lovely pikemen. So we know they've got lots of native troops. Let's deploy our gunners up on the hill. Let's deploy a mixed front line down here back them up with some cavalry then up here to provide a bit of a flanking threat near the guns we're going to deploy a second army scouts and native troops will fill the gap in the center my pikes will advance with my main battle line this provincial cavalry push around the left general's bodyguard in the center bish bash bosh technically my cover on the other flank would be smarter because it's the uh, it's more open Coeur de Bois let's move them around the flank it's been a bit bit of a better position move my provincial cav around move my general up they do have a couple of interesting units there's some Coeur de Bois which will probably well they will outrange my units but they might not be Oh no, they won't. They might not have been expecting me to push forward the way I have. Um, you guys may actually hold position far side of the wood. And I might want to do most of my pushing with this left flank up the hill. Perpendicular to their defences. Hehehe. <laughs> uh. Run. No, you men actually might run here. Cut them off. While well, these men clear out the defences and provide some solid flanking fire. There we go. These coeurs de bois are unfortunately going to uh, soak up a whole lot of musketry. my cavalry up to try threaten their general. Push these men up to flank around the colonial militia. So let's get the first light horse to smash into the 11th colonial infantry and let's try to get this cavalry to kind of hit them from slightly more in the rear. Native Bowman Auxiliary, we found them. really bad at maximising the value for my skirmish troops. Too bad we didn't get much of a charge off. Let's hope the sixth wave is soon. Let's probably pull my provincial cavalry back. here in line. Okay, 
Gotta turn around and charge again. I really hope you guys aren't firing into the back of my cavalry combat. We've smashed straight back into the bowmen. Come on, kill them. Okay, one of you, men. Straight up into these, into these Ottawa scouts. Okay, let's be wary of the cavalry spikes. Again, my coeur de bois. They are engaged. This unit of bowmen. So let's get my general over here to provide a bit more support. Use these men to chase down and kill these colonial troops. Whoa, you guys get up. You guys get back. Slaughter this militia unit. Ah, don't be fooled. Go chase down this native bow auxiliary unit, get my artillery to hit their bowmen. Good. They didn't have to run around the spikes. Come on. Eight infantry left. Okay, now turn around and hit the bowmen. Focus the artillery at this unit of Hessian line. See, they're trying. They are trying to lure me back towards the uh, towards the spikes. It's not happening. Okay, avoid them completely and go for the coeur de bois. Don't take any messing around. Absolutely, continue just at a higher speed. You will now chase down those guys. So I do want to slaughter them as much as I possibly can because I will be attempting to run down. I will, I will be chasing this army down. There are some troops behind me, but they're not massive concern. Let's turn off my artillery fire to prevent too much fratricide. Not too bad they are going to route. Yeah. That's everyone against the 9th Regiment of Foot Hessian Line. Got him. That wasn't close. That was a lovely victory. A lovely, lovely win. So we lost 600 men, which is more than I would like. But we gutted their troops. Then we're going to continue to push and do whatever recruitment 
whatever replenishment we can actually do. Make ready. So they could be enticed to go after Quebec, and if they do, then that's an easy option to dismantle their infantry. Because we do want to take Fort Nashwak, but we also want to take St. Rupert's Land. As it's quite a lucrative trade region with an average yield and an abundant yield for Trapper. I wish I could try and wish I could kill this minister who hates his job. So on track for seven thousand income next turn, two more turns to fire a rank, fire by rank. Our navy down here is pretty damn awesome, but I don't want to do too much with it to provoke the enemy because I'm, con I'm not concerned. I'm just aware of our position. We do have a lot of enemy troops on our coast. Yep, the French are attempting to... I mean, they're going to raid my port rather than actually attack me. Which is... It's their option. At least at least the French turn is after the British, so they didn't have, it, they didn't have the opportunity to kill my ship. But yes, once I've killed... So once I've taken Rupert's land and taken that French territory, I'll feel much more happy about prosecuting a campaign against the 13 colonies. Although it would be tempting to build up an army in Louisiana and start trying to knock out some pirate regions. That would be pretty nifty, but then again, the pirates are handy for me because they are taking, they are occupying the British the Royal Navy's time. If I took them out, I couldn't do that. I've only got one port, so ideally I'd need to sh I'd need to build a shipyard or ha take a shipyard, which kind of mandates attacking the thirteen colonies to open up more dockyard capacity, which I currently do not have. Okay, so let's take. Who who yes, do I take? Missionary on a mission. To you instead. Continue to march up the axis. Threat of threat of attack. Can you attack the city? No. Okay. So you stay in Quebec. In order to so they couldn't run around us and take the city. Let's upgrade some farms, but I'm pretty sure there's not much else we can really upgrade. Division of Labour because we haven't got the next tier of school. Villages are not growing. Even with no tax. So not quite sure what they want to achieve. For attacks with the Huron. Good stuff. Because I have no intention on attacking them yet. Okay, 3,300. The Lord's servant. So you're no, you're no good blocking troops around here, so you may as well make your way to Fort Nashwak to make sure it is Catholic. Because this territory ends up developing two towns, one at Cap, Cap Fourchou and one up here at Louisbourg, so that would be nice. Newfoundland would also be nice to take, but I would I will be okay with owning their continental possessions, I think. Wait a minute, did, did France even have a go? Or was it so quick that we missed it? <laughs> but yes, there's going to be a lot of uh, end turn blitzing at the moment, but every turn we advance is another turn towards getting fire by rank. That beautiful technology of firepower. That's been like the defining feature That is like the defining feature of my concerns of this campaign wrapped up into one lovely example of fire by rank being able to offset our small forces capacity when fighting major powers. <laughs> Gotta be careful of major powers, he gets around. <laughs> okay, so we've gone all the way down the fire by rank route, or straight for the fire by rank route and not done anything on bayonets. So that's our next option. We have a new town. 
in the Michigan Territory. Michigan's in the news a lot recently. Well, because today's the 5th of November. I don't know, this is probably going to be released much after that, but this is very, I'm very much in the middle of a US election territory at the moment. Okay, so you can have a craft workshop. You can upgrade your weaver's cottage and you can upgrade your fur trapper post. Yes, sir. You are already fully recruited, so you can march up one space. Any further orders? You can put a general here. Julien Sayez. So now we've actually got a second army. And let's go knock out. First of all, what do we build? No, oh, it was the craft weavers. Six and a half thousand we're getting now. So what changed? Are we not trading with someone? Someone blockaded. No. Oh, trade routes are being raided. Okay. Let's go take out those. Oh, it's because of this, this, obviously. <laughs> right, let's go take them out. We got fire by rank. So we are going to absolutely blitz through this force. It is going to be glorious. Okay, the artillery's good here. Should form one long line because we're going to advance. Advance towards the enemy. Cover on each flank and Julian in the center. So run my men forward. Oh, that's a dangerous sign. Concerned about the trajectory, and he may blow my blow my uh, infantry's head off. So maybe we should go assassinate their general. This infantry on the flank can move up. Oh, look at our Louisiana Grenadiers! Look how beautiful they look. With no. Aha! Uh -huh. There's our enemy. Our enemy hidden troops. Ah, you're gonna try and deploy states, weren't you? In case these guys hold back and get ready. Get ready to attack wherever spikes don't appear. Don't worry about the Coureur de Bois. Bois. The uh, real goal is up here. Okay, let's pull back. You men obviously need to push up. Yeah, go after the militia conscripts. You are about to have an almighty surprise. That's my look the first Grenadier Regiment. Ah, oh, first they reload. Oh man. Sweep across the battlefield. So there is the enemy. He is there. Oh god! There's cavalry in the mix. Oh no, there isn't. Missed it, damn it. There we go. They're aiming right for us! <laughs> they got us. Okay, 
Mon General, chase down the Ottoman scouts. Let's get some blood on his boots. Good enough. Yep. Infantry is engaging. To be honest, I'm not even that enthused about going after the general. Much more precious cargo can be gotten through attacking. Oh, it's just the general as well. Just to halt you guys here. These guys need to be fired. And killing him isn't a massive priority. Because the enemy doesn't. The army. The enemy army is completely destroyed. Go. What's that? I can hear a really funny high pitched noise. I hope you guys can't hear it. <laughs> oh, I thought they would be completely destroyed. Let's replenish the army and we will rebuild next turn. And then we will advance and finish off their troops. And these men, I may, you might just advance yes, forward and. Attack Roberto Amoroso. Let's kill these Venetian dogs who thought they could. who thought they could uh, land and raid our territory. I think not. So let's push this, position our line. There's one giant line. Pound the hell out of them with artillery. And let them come right at us. In position. Our men, including our general, ready to take them on. Oh no, they aren't going to let us get away with it that easy. Storm the hill. My men are going to be so tired. Let's pick you as well to do something like this. Horse artillery, focus on the colonial line. They're going to attempt to intercept us. And in the end, maybe they actually might. Pouring fire into the second regiment. Colonial line. Why call it colonial line, even though I'm the colonials? Charge into them because they're close enough. 
you guys also join them because these Amazons are joining in. No, actually, you guys could probably be better used firing. Firing into the enemy's positions. These men storm up and take the crest of the hill. Charge up. Fire! Oh, no need. Apparently. Falling through the trees. Oh man, we got him in a trap. They got nowhere to go. just not fair. Speed up time, because these men are just going to get slaughtered. Let's halt, fire. Yep, if they attempt to run in that direction. enemy commander. Achievement, you're probably more useful over there. Well, they're all more spread out. No, to be honest, they're all spread out. There we go. Storm in and kill them all. Lovely. Close victory, that wasn't close. That was a lovely slaughter. Destroyed. By the left. Sweet. Yes, Got our ships back in port. Plug bayonets is exactly what I'm after. We do still need to take Philadelphia. That's still on the docket. So once I take Rupert's Land, I'd like to position an army around about here, ready to spar with the... just to hold the 13 colonies while my main force starts knocking these territories out one at a time. And obviously we will need bayonets in order to do that. As we shall not be able to placate the enemy through kind words alone. Even though I'm not looking to placate them. Well, placate them with a stabby thing. Different types of metal in different shapes. At relatively different... Well, absolutely different velocities. That's entirely the wrong word there. They may be returning to go pick up more troops for a further attack. And that's part of the reason why it can be handy to have um, trade around different parts of the world because you do then get intelligence on what's going on in those parts of the world. So, let's repair this port. This army can then spend a bit more cash fixing itself and that's that's an auto resolve for sure. We lost a load more men than I would like but that's a story of my life when it comes to auto resolves. You guys get back to Quebec. Because what have they got here? It's not a good army. It doesn't need to be brilliant. Your Majesty. What army have you got? Okay, you could do with two grenadiers. You could probably do with just a bit more padding out, more so than anything. Lord. These men can replenish. You guys push into the territory, which is currently unoccupied, and it's 100% Catholic, which is nice. 
So you may end up actually sitting on the border and converting Falmouth Main ready for our glorious attack. Tented farms have been built. So let's upgrade this chap. There's nothing else we can really upgrade. Roads will be good. Still, yeah, towns aren't growing, but there's not a lot we can do about that unless we start. Well, we've researched quite a lot down this route. Unless you'd go for selective breeding to improve your farms. Okay, let's take Theodore. Let's also resolve this fight against a single unit. Yeah, apparently they managed to kill 500 men, apparently. Like, I believe that. So let's fix that, and we've got just enough. Oh, I thought we did. We're going to rebuild the logging camp while pushing these guys around to hit this territory that will get us another handy chunk of taxing camp. And Louisburg is going to be developed in 66 turns. Well, on their schedule anyway. And this general got steady under fire, so he is slowly gaining skills. Yeah. If we take Rupert's Land, I, I won't want to leave it garrisoned. I'll just put something in the port to slow down their attack by a turn. Then I'll bring them south, spar with 13 colonies, while we destroy their cities north to south one at a time. And hopefully the Cherokee will join us as well. Because then they could expand some territory in the southern United States. Plug bayonet researched. Excellent. Uh, how much does this make? Reduce it, increases counter for a form by one. It's probably a good thing to do. We're going to end up needing to leave a garrison here almost permanently until we expand into new regions. Yeah, so these towns really are garrisoned. Well, this one, found will fall fairly easily. I believe this city is just gonna that, that's an auto resolve for sure. So let's see how our policies have impacted the growth. Yeah, it slowed it by ten turns. There's a French missionary, that's good. It's gonna make things better for us. Good, let's upgrade roads as well. I think that's probably enough to fight them, especially if we siege it. So you men, you are, well, you're not entirely replenishing. Let's spend, a, send, spend odds and ends replenishing while we send this army north to go knock out Rupert's land. I think that's a good idea. Then we've got this army at least positioned to strike immediately at Falmouth. taking Moose Factory will add to our coffers quite significantly. I think next turn I'm on for a real road building um, initiative, I think. Mainly because I've not got much to uh, spend my money on otherwise. It might be worth upgrading or building the latest military buildings in Quebec just to Increase my recruitment pool. Although I can't actually do them because they're sufficiently high, I can't afford it. Okay, this is useful because you can export your furs via Quebec. So, Detroit, you can now get metal. Oh, actually. Yeah, it's telling me you've just been. Oh, you've been built. So, upgrade this Weaver's Cottage. It's not enough to build any more buildings, but it is enough to add some more cash to the recruitment pool here. I want to kill this priest. Ah. Although it's staying 100% Catholic, I'm not sure why. Maybe the French have a region there. Two, oh, 
Oh, Monshock is three lovely towns. So we've got Frontiac. Is that here? Yeah. Okay. You could be a candidate for a school in future. Spend a bit more cash for punishing you as much as I can. I want to do stuff to the south with the navy, but I think I'm I think I'm right in stabilizing my front line and my position on the continent because right now I can't build better ships. There's nowhere suitable to build a fishing port. I can't research advanced naval techs. It's 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 inevitable. I need to take I need to take out the thirteen colonies. I'm already at war with Britain. Why, yes, I will do that. They're demanding we trade and they'll pay me for it. Good. We really should have a look at the map over here because it looks like. I think Sweden is. Uh, in case we've got Ring Bayonet. Sweden has pushed onto the continent. They are Sweden and Russia. <laughs> so Prussia's. Is Prussia gone? Did I miss Prussia dying? I must have done. Or have I just completely forgotten? Well, they're dead. Holy hell. The French have got their hands full. The Barbary States have been destroyed. Okay, let's keep going on the upgrade front. Low yield silver mine. Okay, first let's upgrade this building here let's put down some metal roads while you continue your march to Rupert's land there you go, you can just about replenish all of those dudes Okay, let's see if there's anything else that's super useful for us to do. Flying shuttle might be good because we're starting to get lots of textile buildings. More so than military syllabus will help. So it does, yeah, increases the recruitment cost. <sighs> okay, oh good. Oh, so the French might be about to transport another army. Yep, there they go. So they're south of Nassau. Same, same uh, strategy as before. We're going to send out an army to intercept their forces before they can land on our shores. Yeah, don't you try anything, Ottomans. Okie dokie. So... It's going to be interesting when we end up landing in in Europe, where we choose to take our foothold. Will it be in Paris against our colonial masters? Probably would be a good idea. Okay, let's check out the money situation first. Ooh, a new... Yeah, this is that town. Craft workshop. Metal roads. You're getting metal roads. You're getting nothing. Okay, you can get cobbled. May as well try and upgrade the cobbled roads first, because then it at least gives me some leeway. Or well, at least it, get, it means I can just get more things built per turn. Good. Let's take selection of ships out to go intercept Louis Alexandre Pomeroy. I'm not probably going to include it in this part as well because it, it's not really uh, interesting enough to end the episode on. That'll probably be for when I end up taking or when I lay siege to when I lay siege to um, Rupert's Land. Meantime, we want to capture this guy. So 
Maybe something like this. Capture Fantas... Fantasque. We do have our previous capture here leading the charge, the Redoubtable. Just get into the... get into the muck. We will surround this fellow utterly. Hopefully. We will get a chance to do some quite good damage to her. So we already have a plan to break up my position. You guys pretty much disband, and you guys just try to get over to this side. You keep going. I say that full mast. Uh, I might fire chain shot just to see if I can get a cheeky mast. Direct hit on one. You might. Can you turn? No. Oh, four. Good job, I. Damn, I thought I almost dismantled, dismasted one of my own ships. do more damage to our ships than we would like, but it's all in aid of attempting to make her be more easily captured. Just one mast, although granted it's, there's probably definitely a case to be made to just attack her as is. But I don't want her to rout in a good position. The, the Admiral's been shot off of the... Right, well that's the Admiral. She bears. Should I take out a mast? God damn you. I'm happy to sacrifice to damage my ships in the name of capturing or preventing the, the movement of an enemy army. Yeah, you're ready to rock and roll. There she goes. You move in. You go 
drop anchor, allow them to fire at will. Fire as she bears. Yeah, I really just didn't want to have any chance at all at uh, fleeing. At least with a mouse down, I know my ships will outrun her. I know she won't be able to flee. Absolutely continue. Well, you get in position ready to see if you can just knock out knock out another sail or damage a mast. Are damaged. It looks like you are. You are sinking. Phew. Thing is, I don't even think I'm going to keep her. Then again, she's only worth a grand. I'll get to the point where I'll fill up my. I'll get to the point where I'll fill up. Okay, that, that might be a bit risky, but. I'll get to the point where I fill up my port with fifths, then I'll start um, getting the uh, getting the cash for them. Still replenishing, everything's being built. 64 turns to Louisbourg, 40 turns there, 6 turns to one of the new towns in Montreal is being built. It does look like that British Navy is kind of, not stuck, but, well, stuck, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. But that's good for me, because it means they're not going to cause me any bother. They're just going to sit there and do them. So. Get my ships back. Get them repaired. Upgrade the government building in Niagara because it's been waiting to be upgraded for ages. Let's keep my road building upgrade going. This is what's handy being Catholic because when the French and the Spanish run around, they actually help you out. And then this chap, Julian, he will move up and take St. Petersburg. I will, as a strategic reason, it will be worth taking Pueblo, the Pueblo nations, and granted it will drag Georgia into war with us, but we don't really care about that. It won't drag Russia into war, it would drag Georgia into war, but it would give us a trade, a land route to Mexico, and it would also mean that we could then trade with another nation through this port. I mean, we could do that now. Not Sweden, because they're very imperialistic and enemy-like. What about Persia? Persia values our trade. Okay, now let's try Sweden. Now we got our preferred option. Huh. Damn, we're making bare, bare amounts of cash. But we do want to keep growing our tax base more than anything. Take Rupert's land, quick turnaround move south and I think we'll be on to on to a winner hey <gasps> ooh, might we see the Turkish Republic maybe they're rebelling that's for darn sure that would be cool oh don't hope the hero I'm gonna go try to steal my thunder okay flying shuttle that's gonna get us a bunch more cash 
can now instead go for division of labor so we can grow our port size we can grow our port the port our capital new weaver's cottage let's upgrade you still got turns for the roads to be built nothing else really can be done except Ready for don't give them good what's they don't give them mortars we're going to attack Moose Factory, but looking at the timer, we're way over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Moose Factory. Cheers, everyone.